let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What is happening? It is so cold today. What I'm wearing makes me even colder. But nonetheless, I want to end this video because, because, well, because. Because. Aside from that little fandango, how are you doing? I hope that your answer, well, I didn't really give you time to answer, but I hope that your day is going well. I was gonna say, I hope that your answer was, it's going well, actually. And if it's not, I hope that it gets better for you. Remember, you are in control and you could change that around. I feel like I just made the shape of a tornado. You've probably clicked on this video because, well, A, you've seen the title, or B, you're just like, hey, Stacey uploaded a new video. Heck yeah, let me watch this. And if you do, thank you. You are the real MVP. But I got a comment left on one of my videos. And as you know, as I always say, I wanted to share it. So here this is. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'm a girl. I like boys. I don't like girls. I feel attracted to boys, but I don't feel attracted to girls. If I imagine me kissing a girl, I just literally feel like puking. Only reason I don't know is because like everyone these days is bi, gay, lesbian, etc. I feel like I'm straight. I don't know. What's up with me? A lot of people will probably see this and be like, oh great, like, for real, are you serious? Why even make that comment? But Stacy sees this and I'm like, hmm, like that there are many. Because let me tell you a quick little story. When I was in high school, the topic of bisexuality, I didn't really know so much about that in junior high. I would say like my freshman year is when I really started to see a lot more of it. Before that, I like heard here and there, the term said Lucy and stuff like that, but I never sat back to think about it until freshman year when I seen a lesbian couple walking by and I was like, hmm, that's a thing. That really is a thing. Then I got into the world of what's trending. I know it still goes on today. At one point, even after high school, it started being a huge thing. And I was like, what the heck? What? Like, what? And I just couldn't believe it. At that point, it was that girls started saying that they were bisexual just to make the guys think it was hot. Just to get them to like notice them. And I was thinking in my head like, what? Does this, does this really happen? It was just this trendy thing. And I was like, hmm. I don't like this. This is not cool. It's clear that they really truly do not know what it's like to be questioning, to be gay or lesbian or bisexual, to be troubled and not know if you really are or aren't, and the anxiety that may come with that, and the depression that may come with that, and all the other feelings that are negative, the fear, being scared, the frustration, the confusion that come with really honestly questioning your sexuality and not knowing and trying to figure it out. And so it was then when I really started to understand on a more deeper level. And so I would think like, why why would they do that? Oh, because they want the attention, because this, because that. They'll do whatever it takes. You almost rolled out of bed, sorry. They'll do whatever it takes to say whatever it takes, act a certain way in order to get the short-term attention from a boy they think is hot or something. This is what this brought me back to, and I know that there's a lot of this going on even today. Obviously with trendy things, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. But I just think that it was necessary for me to bring this up because I feel like this is showing peer pressure even now with this person knowing that they're straight, knowing that they have no attraction towards girls, but yet they feel like just because it's something that's going around and trending, they need to fit into that. Just like the whole labels thing, there's no necessity to need to try to mold yourself into whatever is trending in order to fit in. There's no need to label yourself, there's no need to fit the mold. Be you, be who you are, be proud, and fuck everything else. Forget what Sally and Marcus and Junior and Robert and everybody else that is super popular, trendy. Forget what they're doing. Focus on you. Do what you want to do. Don't do things just because they're trending and you're not wholeheartedly in them. If you're just doing it to get the attention or just because you know it's going to get you likes or views or whatever it can be and that's not authentically you inside of your heart, that's not really truly you, who you are as a person, please avoid that at all costs. And I understand sometimes we need to make those mistakes, but if you know that you're not that at all, there's no reason to go out and purposely do it knowing that you aren't. You know you don't like girls. Point blank period if you know you know if down the road it changes well then you know maybe that whole like feel like you're gonna get sick when you think about kissing another girl was just your denial your fear within you trying to block that trying to cause you to feel a certain way because at the pit of your stomach you were just like holy crap if I really do feel that way it's wrong according to whoever said that it was wrong in your life it's almost silly that people are coming out of the closet just to be trendy yeah I do believe that a lot of people who do this on purpose don't stop to think that hey 
hey, maybe by me doing this, I'm going to be giving the wrong idea to the wrong people, or I'm going to be causing the LGBTQ plus community or whatever the letter you're identifying with at that moment. I'm going to give them a bad name or I'm going to make it look worse for them. Maybe you're not taking that into consideration. Maybe you're not being sensitive to the fact that there are people who really truly suffer with this and really have tough times with this. And you're just over there willy nilly freely being like, hey, I'm here too and I'm gay or I'm bisexual. Of course, I know. If it's a joke, it's a joke here and there. Again, if you know that you're not and you're just doing this just to please somebody else or to get something really quickly, please don't. You might want to rethink that because you never know who else you could be affecting. You might be doing damage to yourself or you might hurt somebody else's feelings because imagine this, you are trying to fit in so you say, oh, I like girls too. You know you don't. Along comes somebody and you're like, ooh, my first little victim, like, ooh. And then they fall for you and this whole entire time you're like, I just did this to gain some attention. Then it's like, ouch, now you left somebody with a broken heart. Now you're playing with somebody's emotions. I'm just saying this in hopes that maybe, maybe it will get to the right eyes or ears and make things like, that person will be like, oh crap, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna be that person. But trust me, I know, junior high, high school, these things happen, these things go on. Sometimes we need to make these mistakes to learn from them. Of course, I'm not denying any of that, but if I can help you not make that mistake or anybody else not make that mistake or go down that path, then I'm gonna try. And then again, on the other side of the spectrum, maybe somebody who is saying these things, like again, what I said earlier about feeling repulsed, but really it's just your own fear inside, your own feelings, your own denial, and not wanting to see that to be true. So you try to make your mind think that it's freaking disgusting and sick so that you really start to believe that. And so you're pushing yourself to believe that when it's not really the reality, but you're trying to hide that. I don't know, you, you, when you break down layers, it could be so many things. Maybe when you break it down and you're trying to be trendy, it's because you really wanna explore that part, but you want to give yourself the trendy excuse to go out and do that to really find yourself so that then you could be like oh wow i was just doing it to trend but like it turns out i really do like girls maybe you do you're not really giving yourself an excuse and you really truly believe that you don't like girls but then somebody comes along and changes that for you and then you're just like holy guacamole this is freaking amazing i don't know there's so many layers to this but i just wanted to touch on this object subject on this subject so that I could just talk about this subject. But I just wanna to touch on this subject because I know that this goes on in all aspects of life, not just sexuality or all of this stuff. It makes me sad because honestly, it does have the potential to really give the LGBTQ plus community or whatever community it's dealing with a bad rap, a bad name. And it sucks because then it's people like that who are doing it for their own emotional gain or their own gain that really mess it up for a lot of us and really cause these things to happen and really start to get people seeing it through a different perspective, seeing it through a negative perspective or negative eyes. And so it really does affect more than you know. So I just wanted to say this just to put it out there and hopefully get to somebody that will help them make this change or think about these things ahead of time. I mean, it doesn't mean that you always have to be walking on eggshells. Of course not. Sometimes we're just going to do shit because we need to learn shit and we're gonna make stupid mistakes and we're gonna say stupid things that's a part of life but not how would we know that it was a dumb thing you know we have so many times when we look back and we're just like oh did i really say that you cringe hard as heck but anyways as i said hopefully i can avoid that for somebody out there because i did deal with some people who were just in it because it's trendy and that's that's just sad and again touching on the subject of it could be literally anything it could be so many reasons you say you feel like you're straight maybe you're doubting yourself because maybe you might like girls and you just don't know just because more and more people are coming out of the closet doesn't mean you have to do the same it's just that more and more people are feeling comfortable in their own skin and they're realizing that it is normal that it's not such a terrible horrible thing that some people in society make it to be just because everybody starts playing soccer does that mean you have to start playing soccer too everybody's going vegan does that mean you have to go vegan too if you freaking love all the other foods that vegans don't eat no it doesn't mean that you have to join in on the fun there's other ways that you could be a part of it without pretending to be it if you're feeling like you're straight and you know you're straight hey that's another thing that i always say there's no reason to have to label yourself because if right now you feel like you're straight and you're so adamant about you being strictly dickly and then down the road somebody comes around and it's not a dickly and you're just like whoa hey there where have you been all my life? And why am I feeling this way? Hello, it's a girl and she did not make you feel like you needed to rush to the restroom. Well, things change. Then you don't have that excuse of planting your flag down on the straight planet and you're like, no, I'm straight. So then you're gonna find yourself creeping back like,
and then walk away. So you don't have to feel that pressure. That's why I always like to say, don't label yourself. If you're not 100% sure and you don't want to label yourself, don't label yourself. If you are 100% sure and you want to label yourself, label yourself. And if you are 100% sure and you don't want to label yourself, then do whatever makes you happy. Right here in your corazón, in your heart. And try your absolute best not to give in to the pressures of society, of your peers, of your parents, of your family members, of opinions, of the world. Just do you. You do you. You'll figure things out eventually. But for right now, all you got to do is just be happy, love who you love, be authentic, stay true to yourself, and stop trying to fit in by doing the things that's trending right now. If that is not you. I'm not talking about doing the hip hop scotch dance or whatever the hell is trending right now. I'm not talking about that. Like if you want to do it, do it. If that's really who you are and you want to go out and you know have fun, do the hip hop scotch dance, whatever the heck I just call it. But if you're finding yourself thinking, hmm, so and so just came out as gay, so and so just came out as lesbian, and it's like, hmm, this is a this is a popular thing. Maybe I should come out as bisexual. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's, let's do that. And then next week I'll change it up. Like, no, that is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. There's no need to pretend. Just be who you are. Point blank period. That's it. That's all. But anyways, if you know anybody who's in need of hearing this, if you want somebody else to say the words to somebody that you're trying to say to, but you're just like, mm, I kind of don't want to say it because I don't want to be mean, but like, Stacey put it into perspective and hopefully you'll change it and show them what I'm trying to say or what I'm talking about. Please do send this their way. Please share this with anybody you know that may or may not need to hear these words. Please pass this on. Even if it's just to pass it on because you know a stranger out there might come by this video. Maybe they're in need of it. You never know. Anybody around you may be in need. So if you do have a second, I do ask that you please share this. Please share this message forward. You never know who you may be helping and helping is absolutely beautiful and it doesn't cost you a thing. It ain't gonna drain your pocket. It ain't gonna burn a hole in pocket like I constantly burn holes in my pocket and as you know kindness does not cost a single thing so that's even more amazing thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for being here and spending some time with me and if you would like to see a little bit more of me you can head on over to my social medias and check out what I've been up to what I do yeah you know and if you like what you see and you're not already following me I invite you to follow me. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video. And remember, if there is one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs or lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. Bye.